G'day, this is Ozako. Let's play some more EU4 Common Sense as Portugal. So, try and decide where the next war will be. I think it's going to be against Brittany, who doesn't really exist much anymore. But if we take a look at where he's actually gone, he's in Brazil. And he's completely occupied there. Even New Brittany over here is fully occupied. Flemish Brazil. Hmm. Haven't noticed them before. Should we actually attack them first then? Alright, hang on. Flanders. Well, oh, let's take a look. If we declared on them, Utrecht a monster. Flanders. Is Utrecht the monster? Hmm. Could be worth it. Or we could get slaughtered. Alright. Madrid. Granada. Cantabria. Well. Stop one of them. We may have to stop him. He'll be fine there. Uh, oh. Bummer. It's a panic of doomsday. Splat, go the rules. Uh, we're just taking that, yep. Alright, go to Granada. Oh, we have Ford and Leon, gonna take care of that. Alright, colony is done. So we can do this colony. Go for it. Which will let us border. Taraskin. Alright, get out of the way. Try efficiency or money. Efficiency, thank you. Aztecs and we well, already bought a Todnak, but that'll be good. And we'll take this one after and get to Galima. Alright, who is next? Grenadans. In everywhere but Granada. Hmm. From the center. Fine on the um, No, we're gonna keep dealing with those ones because we never go after them straight away. Alright, you go some Sevilla. Where? Oh god, that's horrible. Hmm. None of the cavalry have been injured because none of the enemies have got enough lines. Oh, that will next time. Alright. Mercia has a fort. Cadiz does not. Sevilla is an important centre of trade, so. Bump that up. Hopefully, that will just come up Mercia and Sevilla and not destroy them. Alright, definitely got the manpower. Right, the cap. Not for long. We're going to start building the ships in about 100 years. I should do the math on that. Probably don't even have enough provinces to physically build 500 ships in 100 years. Hmm. And we definitely don't have the magic force on it for it. Alright, how close are we to 300? Uh, getting there. Culture is accepted. Castilian. Yeah, for us. Alright, coming back pretty fast. What are we getting? 700. Local nobles' power grows in Gibraltar. I don't know where that is, don't tell me. Damn it. 
and then Teo. Ah, there. Alright, go around Teo. worth of manpower. Head back to Sevilla. Alright. Done. Uh, Katsinians in Katsina. Pretty sure that's where we're sitting. Yep. And feel free to rebel. You can never have too much grain. I should have got rid of some of these. Let's do it now. Get rid of this one. And this one. Alright, so yeah, building this up. We need to build grand shipyards everywhere we can. These two. And this one. Manage over extension very slowly. Alright, why can we not do you? The dock. Force limit. Well, we do need them, and I did build them. enough local tax for that to be worth it. So you will do Grand Shipyard. No, don't need a castle there, do we? Grand Shipyard or let's go do dry dock. Alright, seven pretenders in Sevilla. Knew that was going to come when the guy died. Okay, 616. For a marriage with Naples. Here is a 614. Awesome. And he's young. Alliance from the Navajo and Carbu. Who are the Carbu? Over there. Hmm. Become our vassals. Sure. Improve with them. Uh, with Navajo though, they are pretty tiny. And they are gonna die soon enough. I will do it now. Well it's yeah, nah, declare. Pretender will be in Sevilla, where we're already standing. Go for it. De Mendoza. one. Overextension. Second last one. At war with the Navajo. And a couple more uprisings. Fine. See how the Navajo go. Sevilla and this. 
Yeah, perfect. Exactly where I want him. Dead there. And reinforce for a while. God, what's Tunis trying to do to Spain? Had that occupied for so long. as we can before we go on that. Hey France, what are you thinking buddy? There you go, do it. Son of a bitch. Can be stopped by having a Regency Council. Alright, just gotta get the overextension down. It's coming anyway. Council wouldn't be terrible. A chance to work on our fleet. Oh god, minus one. How can you actually lose one? I've never actually lost points before. Ah uh, god. Well, we can turn off the what do you call it? Policy for the settlers. Shipbuilding time. Mm. Goods producers making a bit of money. This is the only one that doesn't make as money, I think. Yep. Turn it off. Global tariffs. Yeah. Do the extra settler now. Yeah. That'll make up for it. Looks fair. Alright. Don't need any help. Good. So, settler. Fourth settler. We'll go. Can't go there. Can't go there. Go there. Maple's got it. Prestige. Low prestige leads to this, doesn't it? Yeah. Lose five or lose ten. I'll lose five. Alright, Navajo already lost. I never notice. Sorry, Navajo. Give us some money. Alright, go for it. Jeez, you have no buddies, which means you're dead. Alright, chuck in another one there. 
specific room, you're gonna go do it anyway. Ugh. I have to lose stream. Because we need 75 legitimacy to stop it. will be on the way soon. Well, who's going to be the first? Alright, what's happening in Africa? What are we doing? Katsina was... Protectorate. Kabu was going to be a vassal. We will guarantee them. We will go and save their province. Weird. Alright. We will get a royal marriage. Just offered us, whoops, and we will offer military access. Right, can we get there now? No, let's go stand next to it. All right, Zuni. Lanziana. Alright, we will go one, two. No. no. Alright, we'll go somewhere else. We'll do this one just to block New Norway. Go there. Alright, what are we doing? Well, this is 100%. So, Apache, give us money and land and prestige. That's right, it's part of Mexico there. So they can call those ones. Next colony is about to finish. So we'll go there and then there. Go there then there. Excellent. Send him. Alright, bartering increases. Lose admin, lose inflation. That's only a little autonomy. Earthquake destroys Lisboa. The earthquake that destroyed Lisboa was a catastrophe of huge proportions that resounded all across Europe and even into the New World. 1st November 1755, 30 years from now, a beautiful day when next to everyone was in when next to everyone was in the churches celebrating a holiday, the ground suddenly started to shake and the churches started caving in, crushing the visitors. For those that escaped, it was far from over as a heavy breeze of wind suddenly started to come, come in over the area, beating small fires into a virtual inferno, incinerating thousands. But yet thousands of people would fall victim for the grand tidal wave, reaching land just a few minutes later. Death count was estimated to 20 to 40,000 people at the time, and given all four elements, wind, fire, earth and water, the explanation punishment by God was a view widely spread, both in Portugal and elsewhere. Get an earthquake for 10 years. Wow, it's a big earthquake. Goods produced down, local manpower modified. Oh, way down. That's fine. It's only in one province. So, with the news of that earthquake, 
devastating our capital. Wow. Uh, I'll take a short break. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you again soon.